It's your first performer from Team Beatles, Karen G. some facts at you today. Um, so, uh, as you may have been able to tell, I'm a very serious person, so I'm just going to go through with this presentation I made. <laughs> Beatles, who are they really? So in case you're one of the few people who don't know who they are, um, which was also me this morning, um, I've got some facts for you. There they are, four nice boys. They look handsome, cool, possibly single, I don't know. Um, the first thing that happens when you search the Beatles on Google is this picture shows up. So then I decided, you know, I should do a little bit more research. Um, four guys walking across, you know, following traffic laws, whatever is necessary. And then it turns out a lot of other people did what they did. So, you know, trendsetters. Trendsetters, that's who the Beatles are. Here's uh, four friends walking. Uh, here's a family walking. Um, Here's a man alone, no friends, no family. <laughs> Honestly, that's a bummer, but wow, I'm late. Okay. Um, and then, uh, yes, okay, so this is um, kind of tragic. It's actually four people who were buried in uh, Pompeii. And <laughs> <laughs> I'm not this serious, exploded. But that's truly just how much the Beatles transcend time. <laughs> so that's pretty sad. So you might be like, okay, so Karen, these are great photos, but who are the Beatles? Um, and they can be summed up in one sentence. I think you guys can agree they inspired the world to exercise. <laughs> let's say like, Beatles, Michelle Obama's Let's Move, pretty much the same. Uh, cool, okay, what else did they do? Honestly, like, I couldn't really tell not much. <laughs> uh, here they are, again, four boys. Um, they talked funny. Someone pointed out accent, but I was like, we're all American, I don't get it. <laughs> um, and they apparently made a lot of people happy. Uh, so then I was like, great, but now I'm Team Beatles and I need to figure out why I'm supposed to be in support of this group of men. Um, and supporting groups of men is not something I'm very good at doing. Um, so then I dug through and realized there's actually one all-encompassing reason that I just cannot deny, and uh, this is where the presentation gets very serious. Um, so I need you guys all to really be with me here as I point out this very obvious truth. Um, the Beatles are the reincarnation of Jesus Christ. Uh, I know, and you guys might be like, hold on, I don't believe in him, now you do. <laughs> because I'll point out to you why. Who is Jesus? That's him. Um, honestly, I'm not gonna lie, kind of weird facial features, but we just say he's hot, so that's allowed. He is one boy, um, he talked funny, and he also made people happy. <laughs> Let's go back really quick and look at who the Beatles were. Uh, four boys talked funny, made people happy? Wow! A reincarnation would really just make four men into one, which is the dream! Um, so, some more cold hard facts about them. The reasons why I think the Beatles are Jesus uh, is their evidence in the songs. They wrote Can't Buy Me Love. You know what I mean? Jesus was a socialist, we all know this. You can't buy anything. I don't really know how socialism works, but I think I got something here. Um, I also say, she loves you. Wow. I have you guys know that she is capitalized. So, really, referring to God, who is a woman. Um, um, hey Jude, which, you know, as we all know, it's really is fuck you, Judas. <laughs> That's very relatable, so I get it. Um, full heart facts for two, too full, too hard. Um, so here they are again. Uh, I will also just point here are their names: you know, John, George, Paul, I think Ted. <laughs> and if you guys want to come after me for not knowing, I'm sorry. I'm really young. Um, I should have called my dad to confirm, and I didn't. Okay. Um, who else has daddy issues? Moving on. Okay. So I do want to point out two of them are dead. Two of them are alive. Um, Jesus died, but also he's still alive. Uh, do you guys get the point I'm trying to make? <laughs> okay, cool. <laughs> Great. Sounds like we're good. Um, I did invest in some cool PowerPoint techniques. Um, 
I just want to quickly wrap this up in conclusion. This is known as a Venn diagram, which really just means to thank you. <laughs> thank you so much. Um, the Beatles, let's go over, they're white. So I actually don't think I mentioned that if you haven't noticed, they are. Um, socialist boys who are both dead and alive. They're pretty talented and they're gonna live on forever. Their music is good. Um, Jesus? White socialist boys, singular, sorry. Um, dead and alive, pretty talented, will live on forever. And you're like, hold on, Karen, those are the same thing. And you're absolutely 